metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Are you ready, dude? Well, I'm, uh, uh, well, you... Great! Perfect! Alive. Hey, what is this thing we're riding on? I don't know. Just something I found. Something's written on it. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, too! It's our oxygen tank! This O2 stuff is really fun. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. old pal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, where did all the oxygen go? O2 levels are very low. Oh. Yo, yo, where did all the oxygen go? The situation is critical. We don't even have enough oxygen left for the trip back to Earth. What can be done? Uh, well, to start, we should try to limit our movements. That way we'll all consume far less oxygen. <laughs> Crash! Don't you care about what's happening here? Hey, what do you want from me? Should I hold my breath? Huh? Come on, guys. Look at Barry. He's breathing for three. Just make him hibernate. Uh, I guess I could try. Mercy, mercy, I declare. You are almost out of air. Well, I am way too nervous to start hibernating now. We should really try to not be nervous. Our rate of breathing increases significantly when we're upset. Why did you have to say that? Now I'm all nervous about the fact that I'm nervous. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, is it really impossible to find oxygen in space? Where does it come from anyway? Well, most of the oxygen found on Earth actually comes from all of its plant life. Plants are amazing living things. Using sunlight, plants are able to convert water and carbon dioxide into complex organic substances. Plants absorb water and carbon dioxide from the ground and the atmosphere. The plant's chlorophyll captures the sun's energy and uses it to produce starch and sugar. This process is called photosynthesis. For us, probably the most amazing thing about photosynthesis is that it creates oxygen. It was blue-green algae, an ancient protoplant, which first brought about oxygen in our atmosphere. Plants have special molecules called chlorophyll that make photosynthesis possible. Sunlight is made of photons, which carry energy at a specific frequency. In order to derive this energy from photons, there must be a receiver that can oscillate with the exact same frequency, and that receiver is chlorophyll. This could be compared to the act of making something swing. To make something swing, you have to push it with a certain frequency. In plants, the role of the swing would be performed by chlorophyll molecules. Photons of sunlight push chlorophyll with a certain frequency and swing it transferring energy. Well, there's no problem then, this pretty little hero. 
He's got the whole thing covered. That one little plant can't produce nearly enough oxygen for all of us, Crash. <gasps> then I will be the hero who selflessly sacrifices himself. Comrades, in this time of life-threatening crisis, I will take the hardest path. I will go. My only hope, friends, is that my awesome sacrifice will not be in vain. Ow! Moving, right? <laughs> it would work even better if I had some pompous violin music. You shouldn't joke about this. We need to find a real solution, like growing more plants. Fast! Two, four, Come six, on, let's eight. get to work. You're all about to suffocate. It's just not working. They just aren't going to grow fast enough. Sure they will. I fertilized them with my special quick grow powder. I developed the formula myself. And what's more, these are experimental rapid growing plants which I've been developing. The results have been very encouraging. Well, until now. And all of your oxygen is gone. Uh, well. That stinks. I don't even need oxygen, and I'm bummed. Please, just grow. You're all experimental quick growers covered in fast-growing fertilizer. What more do you want from us? You've got water and sunlight. <gasps> sunlight! We've got to get the ship near some sunshine. That's what the plants want. I just have to make it to the steering wheel. Oh, almost there. Oh, hey, what is it, nap time? That's a good idea. Oh, I'm a little drowsy, so tired. Oh. Hello, Crash. Hey, Crash. Wake up. Up and at him, Cottontail. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? The air's back. You're the one who figured out how to make all the plants grow. We found you beside the wheel. With the last bit of your energy, you steered us closer to the sunlight the plants required. You saved us all. <laughs> Holy carrots! I am the coolest! Yes, but all the plants are this weird blue color. Are we sure they aren't poisonous? No need to worry, Wally Pal. There's a simple reason for the color of these plants. If you'll pay attention, I'll try to explain. Chlorophyll comes from the Greek words chloros, which means green, and phylon, which means leaf. We see green in plants because chlorophyll absorbs only red and blue photons of sunlight during its work. Green photons get reflected, and so that's what we see. If we conduct an experiment and light the plant with only red or blue light, then all the photons would be absorbed and the plant would look black to us. Okay, but why does the color of leaves change when the autumn comes? Because it's not like the sunlight changes, right? That's an interesting question. Yellow and red pigments are present in the leaves in summer as well. But the green chlorophyll is brighter, so the other colors aren't visible. But in autumn, the chlorophyll breaks down, the green color disappears, and the red and yellow colors then become visible. 
Yeah, but our plants are all blue for some reason. The color of the plants depends upon the position of the planet in question in relation to the star around which it orbits. Plants on Earth have it pretty good, because they get just enough sunlight and not too much, which is why they can absorb just part of these photons while reflecting back the remaining parts of them. And this is why our plants look green. But if our planet were located further from the sun, we wouldn't have enough light. And then, in order to stay alive, our plants would have to absorb every part of the photons. Then our plants would be black in color. Ha! And on the contrary, if our planet were nearer to the sun, our plants would have gotten used to reflecting the hotter and stronger blue beams instead. Otherwise, they'd all just burn up. So I'm responsible for the plants having that crazy blue color? That's right! You steered the ship very near to the sun. So, in order to protect themselves, all the experimental plants developed a new protein for photosynthesis. One that reflected the brightest of the beams, which are the blue ones. This new protein doesn't even have a name yet. <laughs> I think we should name the little fella Crasher Fail. That's awesome! I will go file the paperwork with the Scientific Society. <laughs> Didn't I say no need to worry? Everything worked out. Call me when you figure out how to thank me for saving everyone. Mm, how to thank you? This was all your fault. You hot-rotted away all our air, and now they're on the verge of naming a new protein for photosynthesis after a reckless clown that doesn't know what protein is. What are you talking about? Daco taught us about all this stuff. <laughs> Like, without photosynthesis, the world would be in black and white. But if we plant lots of plants on the surface of the sun, they'll sprout color elves. Uh, huh? <laughs> Historical note. In the beginning of the 20th century, German scientist Richard Willstatter discovered that the common opinion of that time regarding the diversity of chlorophyll types was incorrect. The structure of chlorophyll in all plants is identical. The reason for the mistake was that all other scientists were working with poorly prepared chlorophyll. For his love of accuracy and his research, Richard Willstatter received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1915.